cold. Okay, so I did see this earlier when I got home. Um, I saw that Avengers was updating, but you know, I, I didn't pay too much attention to it. And uh, here I am reading this article right now, and they have rolled out this seven digit number. It looks like it should be my bank account, I wish. But turns out it's just version 2.24 uh, rolled out way before. Everybody thought it was the new one from that's supposed to be going on next month, but it wasn't. It was 2.24, but it did bring some things to the game that they talked about bringing in the update for next month so guys don't forget to leave a like right on the video because it's always appreciated i ain't gonna hold you up too much long we're just gonna go ahead and jump right on into it so they released a patch for both last gen and next gen platforms and the tags version what you've seen up top and plus what you what we already know it is and whatever but uh they made the changes to the raid uh, the, I mean, the Mega Hive reward changes and villain sectors and raids and more and all that good stuff. So, with that being said, let's scroll on down here and you can see the first thing that this update brought along was checkpoint rewards for the Discord and Sound Raid. Can I ask a question? Can we even run that damn thing without getting kicked out of it? You know what I'm I, I don't know. I hadn't tried since the last time I ran it and, and, and we got kicked out of it so yeah but uh they've changed the setup uh, of rewards to drop for uh from major encounters uh raid rather than at at all at the end which should have been a thing at first considering that the raid has i don't know what four or five different set stages in, uh, in it why should we have to wait all the way to the end that we will possibly never even make it to to get our rewards so here's what they did because they probably didn't fix the raid instead you'll get some rewards along the way because you probably still won't be able to fix it anyway uh this also means the normal raid will drop an additional claw miner artifact though it will not improve your power level we are still looking at improving the subsequent uh, subsequent rewards and we'll update you when we have the plan finalized. The new mission chain panels list uh, the order of what encounters give you gear, I guess. Whatever. Look, y'all y'all always good at speaking nonsense when it comes to doing some kind of stupid fucking update. But I guess, yeah. So, um, moving on. Reward edits for OLT and Array. We have added units. Uh, we talked about this the other day too. They added units as a reward to both mission chains and the mission itself. Uh, this means you will earn a thousand units when you complete it the first time, uh, per week and 500 units for each subsequent completion. So that's a more of a reason to run the raids or run anything else more than once. If you ask me or, or run the OLT. Because you, you're probably not going to get through the raid. And now that they introduced the fact that they're going to give you rewards along the way. Shit, I'd be, you'd be surprised if you could even get into that some bitch. So, yeah. Uh, moving along to the next thing that they do. They did the vaults and the villain sectors rewards have been changed as well. The rewards of these missions uh, have undergone an overhaul. Vaults no longer need coordinates and can be picked up from the shield faction mission, uh, mission giver. Which is ridiculous because... I enjoyed hunting for my damn coordinate. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. All right. Whatever, man. Uh, uh, the mission will always... Oh, I forgot what I was. You know, uh, once we, one weekly elite vault and villain sector will also be a part of the weekly updates. The mission will always stay on the war table. Uh, their rewards now have have a chance to drop an exotic variant of their sets. Oh, okay. So y'all dropping exotics. Now, from 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 villain sectors and shit okay well too little too little too late for y'all to try to entice somebody you know what i'm saying oh look that's my wife uh so uh the mission will always stay on the war table and their rewards now have a chance to drop exotic variants of their sets completing the daily and weekly mission gives a higher chance of an exotic which i do pretty much all the fucking time i jump on the weekly elite mission chain will also reward two pieces of gear 
One will either be a melee or range, and the other will be a defense or heroic. The gear set is a, uh, that is awarded from the villain sector also has, ch has changed, but we'll have more on that later. Stay tuned. So they're going to basically get back to us. Okay, whatever. Uh, Hero Bound Mega Hive. Now, I don't understand what this pertains to, whether it pertains to the gauntlet or the single player Mega Hive. They never really disclosed that. But uh, we'll be making more missions and more mission chains. Hero Bound included the Mega Hive. The Mega Hive will work a little different from the Hero Bound uh, missions because of elimination mechanics. Okay, yeah. Uh, if your hero is above power 140, even if you are knocked out during a Mega Hive, you will be able to claim the weekly reward after completing the hive so that will keep all you punk motherfuckers who like to stay down in the damn uh elevator and watch the show through five whole levels yeah y'all can switch your character because you're gonna get your reward for the person you came in there with anyway oh and by the way get better at the game noob uh, anyway yeah uh, once those rewards are claimed the mission chain will restart the first weekly completion per hero will grant rewards if you you'd like to call what if you'd like to claim more rewards, oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. If you'd like to claim more rewards on the same hero again, you will have to wait until the weekly reset, or you can let me use some of my units and restart it, and I can do that again. Right? I've been saying that for fucking months. Let us reset fucking missions if we want to. That'll be our choice if we want to burn up our units or waste them on your stupid fucking shipments. Maybe you should also uncap the goddamn fragments and modules and poly for those who have more than enough. Dumbasses. We're also looking forward to uh, into what we also looking forward to going into detail about more updates to rewards and missions. And yeah, I do believe that is it, guys. So yeah, if you got an update today on the game, I probably won't try it out too. I'll see what the hell's going on till tomorrow since I'm already here in bed delivering another video while I was watching this Kingsman movie on HBO Max. But yeah, so that's that, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this update, man. I don't know if I was a little muffled in the background or not. I had the phone kind of rested down on the bed, but sure you could hear me and if you read along or whatnot, then you understand what's going on. Yet another update that they they, they experimenting in year two with this game. So, yeah, man, guys, y'all leave me a like rating on this video. Let me know what you think about this. If you tried it already, let me know what you got. Is it worth it? Is, is Are you excited? Do I do I sound excited? Do I sound excited? No, I don't. No. You look, y'all, hey, y'all take it easy. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe. And I'll catch up with you next time. I'm out. Peace.